Are you tired of eating the same thing over and over? Or dreading your family asking, I'm hungry! What's for dinner? In this video, I'm going to show you my five easy and quick way to save a ton of time and help you whip up different meals every night in 15 minutes. Coming up. Hi, I'm Mari, author of International Best Selling Cookbook, Kitchen with a Flexi Piece. Many people are struggling with cooking fatigue and boredom, especially because of the lockdown. Meal planning and then kit subscription will help you deciding what's for dinner quickly. But the problem is, it doesn't shorten the actual meal prep time, and it gets expensive, and then you're screwed if something happens and then you don't have time. Typical meal planning is great in terms of time saving, but we need the same thing one but there's a much easier, efficient, and effective way. No one teaches this method, but this is super important because you can actually make all completely different meals for the entire week by using the same ingredients, time and effort, small changes, big results. So the most important distinctions here is to instead of meal plan the menus, or meal prep the whole recipe, you want to plan your prep that serves as a building block for the entire week. It's kind of like how they cook at the restaurant. By having everything ready to go, all you have to do is mix and match and then voila, the dinner is ready like you see on tasty videos on Facebook. So here are five different ways which you can do to save a lot of time money and reduce stress and get to eat all different food and for the entire week number one just chop some vegetables keep them ready to go for example these asparagus you can eat it as a snack or crudite or chop smaller and then use use them raw in salads if you don't like to chop many grocery stores have pre-chopped vegetables why this is important because if you don't do this you will be repeating this first step every time you cook and every time you do it, you have to wash your vegetables, find the tools, clean. So these times are up. Not just when you're eating them raw, you have to clear the steps to make a cook dish. Number two, you can also do one step ahead by cooking some vegetables by itself. Then you have these vegetables ready to go to add to omelet, pasta, quiche, risotto, stir fries soups, casserole, etc. And then you can use the same veggies as this or even, you know, chop smaller first. You could either steam or ranch or saute, pan fry, depending on what you like and then what kind of vegetables you have. For example, this is the, uh, the chopped leek which is sauteed and then I sauteed three huge leeks because these could be a great base for any dishes and then if you're vegan or vegetarian you really want to have this ready to go just clean the uh, the leeks a quarter of the leeks clean clean them and then chop them up small and then cook it in a big uh, skillet with olive oil and salt and pepper that's it number three make sauces or something I called basis. Using the same vegetables from num step number one, you can cook some of them together. For example, here's something called mirepoix, sauteed onions, celery, and carrots uh, chopped together and then sauteed together. And this is a great base for a lot of different dishes. And um, again, if you're vegan or, ve or vegetarian, you always want to have this on hand. Another thing I, I always make and then have them have them ready is a tomato and then onion base. Basically, this is sauteed garlic and then onion, and then I add the uh, fresh tomatoes. It could be canned tomatoes, but then by having this ready to go, I can make like the Italian, of course, but Indian food, Chinese food, any kind of Mediterranean food. This is really, really handy. Or just eat it as a sauce for pasta or chicken or what have you. So the farther the step, the more time saving and then easier the decision making for you for dinner. Number four, you can do the same with grains and beans as they all takes a little while to cook. But then once you have them ready to go, you can just mix and match uh, into a lot of other dishes. Here's a black eyed piece cooked and then wheat berries. Most of them are simply cooked with just a little bit of salt and then I can just mix it into whatever the dish I want, salad or pilaf or a soup or anything. 
For example, after I cooked the um, black eyed peas, I added the onion and bacon in the um, pot, and then I continued cooking to make southern style black eyed peas. What I did is my husband likes the bacon flavor, but then he doesn't eat it. So I cook, um, I put a large pieces, and then after that, I just took them out and then chopped them up. And then his his black eyed peas doesn't have the uh, bacon but mine has all the bacons. And um, this way you can make two different kinds of dishes in the same effort. And then I can add some rice and greens to make some other dishes. Now, you can do the same with the uh, proteins. Handy things to make are uh, like boiled eggs, brown ground beef, or tofu, or sliced and pan fried chicken. Make sure to season them lightly with salt and minimum spices for most versatility. So once you have all these components prepped, 80% of your work for the week is done. As you can see, when you have everything ready, organized and they're ready to go, your imagination kicks in. So now all you have to do during the week is just mix and match, tweak the flavors. And then pretty much the same, same time it takes to reheat your food, you can make brand new, fresh, exciting dinners. Because everything is simply seasoned, ready to be eaten by itself. You can change it any way you want it in a minute's notice, depending on your mood. So. Why does this method work for any diet? There's three reasons. Number one, everything is organized and they're ready to go. There's less time, less stress, and healthy options are waiting for you in your fridge. And number two, by pre-prepping, your imagination kicks in. So your choices are narrowed down, yet you still have plenty of options. And number three, most people know how to do this simple prep task. So your weekday cooking becomes not only quick, but then so much easier and fun because it's just like cook, uh, cooking on the tasty videos we see on Facebook. So basically that's how I saved $9,000 and over 100 hours and overcame my pre-diabetes all in one year. So in my next videos, I will go deeper in how to actually make meals so that you can see how much easier it is to, uh, it is to cook this way compared with what you have been doing. When you use this cooking process, it's impossible to not to save time, money, and then eat healthy. So if you wanna get started right away, I have a free a quick start guide waiting for you at marisuzuki.com. So question of the day, do you meal plan, meal prep, or you use meal kit service? How it's going for you? Let me know in the comment below. If you like this video, please subscribe and then turn notification on so that you wouldn't miss anything. Thank you for watching and then have fun kitchen wizarding. Bye.